What's up, you guys? Welcome back to another vlog. Oh my god, my hair looks a mess. Welcome back to another vlog, another pregnancy vlog. Um, thank y'all again for all the support y'all been giving me on my vlogs and on my baby registry. My baby registry will be linked down below. Wanted to come today and start a new vlog. What's today, bitch? Today is Friday, August 4th. I go on leave next week for about 10 to 11 days. Um, I'm actually very happy about that. Um, damn, we actually got a lot of things to handle in today's vlog. Um, first, I want to clean the crib up. I'm beyond leave. I got so many videos to film. I want to focus more on reels. Thank y'all for getting my Instagram reel to, to almost 100,000 views. I need to focus on, sh uh, I'm trying to focus on short form, short, short form content. So short videos. But yeah, it's Friday. It is 8.27 a.m. I had to be here early because I'm the school's person now. And, you know, so does I go on the BLC. And I got to be there when they attempt to get on. Just in case anything, you know, goes wrong. Um, right now, it's like 8.30. I'm so tired, y'all. Like, y'all said and Google said that first trimester, okay, you it's horrible. And then second, it get better. But I feel like I was only good for like one week. Like, now my first trimester, everything's coming back. I'm exhausted. I take naps after work. Before I go to sleep at night, I take naps. Um... A couple days I've been having insomnia. Like, I am just so fucked up right now. Uh, the only good part is I'll say the Zofran is working. Remember, I told you guys in my last vlog. I'm now taking Zofran for my nausea. And it's working. You take it every eight hours. It's a pill you put on your tongue and you let it melt in your mouth. And it will... um relieve nausea or like prevent it and it works good for me so yeah i've been eating good but yeah so i went to starbucks got me a little drink um i'm sitting here chilling and the longer i sit here the more tired i get i believe today i will be getting my um aam am is army achievement medal my aam for the troop of the month board so i'm really really happy because like i told y'all my unit they don't like to they they don't like to allow like they don't like to give soldiers awards for winning boards back to back because i guess they feel like that's being greedy but i feel like it's not being greedy long as you don't go month to month like i went in march and then july so that's you know i let it i, I went in different quarters that i think is fine and then on top of that if you got people in the unit that don't want to go so SEOs that don't want to go soldiers that don't want to go that's on them the fuck they don't want to take the opportunity they don't want to at least try that's on them so i think i'm getting it today because in my email um i got a thing from on ipsa and it said you know new award and then it had am so um i'm really happy about that shout out to my sergeant major shout out to my first aunt like chef's kiss to them they are really the best um yeah so right now that's 10 extra promotion points so um basically as of right now away i'm five points away from promotion points and yeah my hair looks a fucking mess when we get home today y'all because you know y'all come home with me and all that we're gonna take this wig off child we're gonna take this wig off i'm gonna show you how i take my wigs off um yeah y'all know i never used to wear wigs to work but i don't actually sweat 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 as bad as like i was before because you know y'all know we used to run every fucking day so now i'm in pregnancy vt and we just walk so that's why i've been wearing my wigs now and i really just wanted to come and check in with y'all like vlogging is the probably the most therapeutic thing in my whole life like it's so therapeutic to pick up the camera and talk to y'all i just don't be trying to bore y'all because me being pregnant i'll be in the house i don't be outside and i know y'all get tired of seeing me in the house but i am gonna try to step up the content more and this baby is giving me bad gas oh my god my stomach
bro just like can, why can't i just fart why do i have to have pain with the fart like <sighs> um yesterday mace felt the baby kick so i'm really happy about that because at first like Kyrie did not want to kick for him. I'm just like, ooh, I don't know. He maybe he don't think he fuck with you. Cause he kicked for me. But yesterday he was kicking and stuff. And I don't know. I'm just so proud of him. I like when he kicks because it gives me like like you're doing good. You're growing. You know? So I'm just really excited and happy. My stroller is on the way. I will do a separate video on the stroller. And as much as we're actually, you know what? Let's address this. I seen a comment and somebody was like um what they said they basically were saying they think i'm too early to be buying anything for my kid let me tell you something i am five months pregnant what is five plus four five plus four is nine meaning i have four months and four months is way is shorter than five months and these five months just flew the fuck by mind you i didn't even know i was pregnant till like 11 okay but still first of all the only thing that i've purchased for my child so far is a three dollar um newborn pants set and i just purchased a stroller last week if i want to buy something for the baby that's growing in me i'm gonna buy something for the baby that's growing in me i'm not gonna feel bad about it none of y'all are gonna make me feel bad about it i don't want to hear this i'm too early shit because i'm not too fucking early bitch it's four months like do you understand this baby is going to come like we're gonna blink just like just like how you guys was like, oh my god your stomach grew overnight we're gonna fucking blink and the baby's gonna be here so please don't tell me what to do with my money about what i got going on over here i just feel like that comment was like really unnecessary and i really haven't bought shit really i bought a stroller and a two pants set but if i want to buy five million things i'm gonna buy it who the fuck is you? who is you to tell me what to buy for my kid the majority of the stuff that Kyrie has is from my subscribers not friends not family like we could really talk about it not friends not friends not family strangers people that don't know me so like every like my everything I have in the crib in my house is from my supporters so like what the fuck are you gonna if i want to buy something for my kid i'm gonna buy it bitch like don't tell me what the fuck to do so i just had to address that um because that really i just feel like certain comments is mad unnecessary like bro if y'all feel some type of way about something just keep it to yourself like oh my god that was mad unnecessary like no one's gonna make me feel bad about buying anything i'm going to buy what the fuck i want to buy people make it people women make it all the way till nine months and have stillborns like what are you saying you can't what are you, like, what are you insinuating? Like, it's too early, like, I might have a miscarriage. Like, what are you saying? Women give birth to babies that don't make it all the time. So, if I want to buy something, I'm going to buy it. And I am going to buy. And I'm going to keep buying. And anybody going to tell me what the fuck to do? Man, that was so unnecessary. And I'm tired as fuck. And it's Friday. We get off early. And we didn't Hi, guys. Welcome back to another vlog. So, if y'all seen my last video, y'all seen... Well, I don't know when y'all going to see it, but y'all will see that... I got my even flow pivots. Me and Mace put we put it together in a separate video, but I'm so excited, guys. Look at this. And don't tell me I'm I'm fiending. And it's too early. Bitch, your mother's too early. She's fiending, y'all. Okay, let me feed. This is my first kid. Probably first and only, but I got my stroller. Y'all, it's a three-in-one set. It's a, a car seat, this is the car seat part. Mm. And then it come with a bassinet, but y'all will see the video when y'all see it. Make sure y'all show some love, cause you know, I want a little sponsorship by Evenflow. But this is so cute. I'm obsessing y'all, I wish I could sleep next to it. It's me taking my child for a walk. Oh my God, I got my mom. She's so excited, y'all. So she She's been me. so excited throughout this pregnancy, y'all. Like, I've been trying to this She's been so happy during this pregnancy and stuff like that. I know she used to talk to y'all and shit about her. God damn, I'm trying to get an angle on this motherfucker to sit up on something. I told, yeah. It's hard. Like, it is hard. But yeah. That's what they don't be getting. So like, she just been like 
going through stuff. I know she was talking to y'all before about her mental health issues, but she's been doing much better. Thanks, babe. What you think? I think I've been doing way better. I, ain't got, I don't mama? have no choice. I'm, look who I'm calling, guys. I already know what she's going to say. It's too early. Why you opened it? Hi, Ma. Oh, thanks, Ma. I'm not go We're going on a date. Every day, every weekend, every day. A date. Oh, you look beautiful. Thank you. I want to show you something. Show me, baby. Okay, I'll show you. Hold on. You're not going to fash it? Okay. Show her. Don't put the put the camera on me when I when I have it when I'm in front of it. Not right now. Not right now. When I'm in front of it. What are you doing? What you got going on? Look, Ma. Can she see what it is? Oh. She's squirting here. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice, right? Oh my God. Let me see the baby. <laughs> Ma, the baby's in my stomach, but it came today. Isn't this nice? Very, very nice. Hey, we got it. It's not been but mutual. Okay, so you see it? But mutual. Woo, all right, y'all. So, I'm happy that... I don't even know where to put y'all, child. This shit is ridiculous. I have nowhere to put y'all, like... Anywho's... Um, I did my wig install. Let me know if you guys like. Did this for... This is from Elfin here. This was actually like some wavy hair that I actually went in and curled. I'll just leave the video somewhere, bitch. I don't know. But I'm real happy that my mom got to see. Because she said she coming, but we don't know. But yeah, and then I had a sponsorship with Ed Hardy. Don't know if I told y'all. Uh -huh. I was trying to keep it on the low, but... I had a, um, put y'all right here. A sponsorship with Ed Hardy, and I just did the content for it. Ooh! Ooh! I just broke my motherfucking lens. You see how the camera just fell? Bitch, my lens broke. So, I have three lens. I have the zoom out lens. Watch I'll show you guys real quick. It zooms out real wide. Real good for travel vlogs. So it goes right here to all the way right here. Now, I have another lens that I bought. This is the it's a 50 millimeter lens with a uh f stop of 1.8, which is which is the blurry background. If you ever see like super zoomed in, blurry background, height. That's this lens. This is my good lens. It's probably the best quality lens that I have. They're all Sony. And then this is the lens I've been using for about three, no. I had this lens for like five, six years. This is the lens that came with my Sony ZV-1. And this is a 16 to 50 lens. And it broke, as y'all can see. I don't know if y'all can tell. You see how it's like skinny and then it goes big it broke y'all so it don't work no more okay now you can see it i tried to push it back in it don't work mage tried it don't work so yeah this shit's already broken so i mean it can't get any more fucking broke but i'm a little sad about this but yeah it's cooked yeah this lens is cooked but yeah, at least I'll have this lens to use. Y'all let me know if y'all like this lens better. But this hair, like I told y'all, is from Elfin here. Yeah, it's so cute. Big curls. And then the next one, the next wig that I get is gonna be, it's a closure as well. This is a closure, y'all. And this one is gonna be, that next closure one is going to be crimps. Yeah, because I bought a crimper. So, yeah. <sighs> That's so stressful. I could cry, bro. I can't believe my lens just broke. Hmm, this is this going to fit on y'all? No, this is not going to fit on y'all. 
but yeah y'all so today i don't really have nothing to do i did my little sponsorship it's saturday y'all know i don't really be going out no more i have to edit a reel which is still that ed hardy's content i'm gonna go ahead and edit that and then i think we're gonna go see a movie later which i will bring y'all with me we're gonna go see a movie and then we're gonna go get my favorite sandwiches which is jersey mike so yeah <sighs> cannot believe my lens just broke and i was freaking out because i'm like, all right y'all let me show y'all real quick because i don't know i got a lot going on today let me show y'all real quick oh look at my cute little office love a little zoomed in look all right so i'm gonna show y'all the fits that i got damn y'all are a little too high whatever so the first outfit that i got i went to dd's discount Close the damn door. I went to Didi's discount. If you don't know what that is, girl, Google one. There needs to be one near you. It's kind of like a Ross, but cheaper. And I went in their baby section because I was bored, y'all. I just be sitting in the house. So I was like, let me just go window shopping. And I love to window shop. I'm going to go look at shit and with no intentions of buying it. I don't care no more. Um, but I seen some cute outfits that I just could not pass up. And I was just like, you haven't bought anything. So why you can't buy yourself? You know, because remember I told y'all earlier. Don't fucking tell me what not to buy. So, anywho's, I seen this, and I bought all different sizes. So, I got this first outfit, 9 to 12 months. It is a true legend outfit, and it is a three-piece. Oh, so cute. It's a three-piece, so it's from 9 to 12 months. I still have not washed any clothes. I'm not doing that till, like, 8, 9 months. Like, I'm not doing that till probably my birthday. Um, So, yeah, I got me a gold. Not me, but I got him a gold set, a blue and white set. And then a blue set that just says true religion. Then I got this. This is zero to three months. This is just a little sweater set that comes with pants. I got this and hopefully, well, he'll, he'll probably be too small, but this is kind of girly. I don't know. But anywho's, I got this and this is a zero to three month. Then I got this um, and they were all cheap, like less than $7 each and then this is 12 to 18 months this is a four pack of bodysuit and it's just cute just simple simple and cute simple and cute and then i got this little trucking outfit that comes with a bib and this is six to nine months just a little bodysuit with a bib and gray sweats I've seen a lot of baby clothes that I want on Timu, but I don't know. I'm not really worried about the clothes too much. Then I've seen this cute little sweater set, kind of. It's like a sweater rib material, and it has a matching hat on the back. So I got this, um, the little bodysuit, and then it has sweatpants. And then lastly, no, that's not the last thing I got. Then I got this super cute little, like, sportsy. It got baseballs and footballs. And basketball's on it and it comes with a bib and the bib says mighty cute this is three to six months and it comes with sweatpants as y'all see i just want to come show y'all real quick but i got him and then lastly i see this and i could not give this i could not let this pass so it is a zero to six months nike two-piece set this was seven dollars so i did pick this up just cute booties with a hat i could not like, I could not. Like, if I would have got anything, I definitely would have got this. So, yeah. So, you guys, as far as diapers, remember I told you guys I didn't have diapers? This is what I have. I have a box of four, a box of two, and then I have some wipes up there and, like, another little box of pampers over there. Size. I can't see the size from here. And then um, some wipes over there. So, for diapers... That is all I have right now. If you guys are interested in getting something for Kyrie, then go ahead and check out the description box. My baby registry is linked below. Everything that you guys send me, I am holding up until I do my virtual baby shower because there's a big ass chance that I'm not going to do a real, uh, actual baby shower. So, yeah. If you guys are interested in getting Kyrie something, the link will be linked down below. Um, it does show me your name. If you, leave, if you send a note, what I'm doing is... Because the boxes are getting like really big and out of control. So I'm taking the items out of the box and taping the the notes to 
what the item is. So like right here, we got a bassinet. And then on top of it, I got the top right there. I taped the note from the lady that bought it for me. But yeah. So that I will be... That's I'll, I'll show everything when I fill my virtual baby shower, which will probably be on live. So I'm really, really happy about that. But yeah, I'll check in with y'all later when we get to the movie theater. And I'll tell y'all what we're watching. I still have to film my outro for this. All right, y'all, we're in the car now. We are about to go to Dollar General, bitch. I'm bored. I literally, let me tell you something. I'm so bored. I'm sitting in a house listening to Mace on the video game. Have so much fun. And I'm so bored. Like, I'm losing my mind. I think next week will be better because I have packages and stuff that I can film, you know, content-wise and stuff. But right now, I'm bored. And it's Saturday, if y'all don't know. Um, I just started couponing with Dollar General, and every Saturday is 5 of 25. And, you know, you can build some stuff. Last week, it was a little weird, so I just didn't do it. I don't know. I try not to just go get shit that I don't need. So today, I'm going to try to do this um, toilet paper deal. Toilet paper and car brief, car for breeze thingy deal. So that is what I'm going to try to do today. And then... Um, We'll see if the coupons work because somehow I don't know, Dollar General I'd be acting stupid, but I still have five off 25, which is good. And I fucking had a list of stuff I needed. I need bacon, eggs, milk, stuff like that. The shit I'll get tomorrow. But for today, I'm trying to get like little cheap makeup and um, I don't need panty liners. I actually need a lot of shit. My bras, my chest is getting so big. I don't, I'm pretty sure it's because I'm pregnant. But my chest is getting so big that my bras are so, like, they feel like they're, like, really tight on me. So, we just got our little outfit on at Hardy Sherp. I'll leave a link down below if y'all want to go support. Some shorts that are busting me in the head. Kyrie kicked me, like, 30 times. And then we got some bum-ass slides on, but. Uh, that's really, I don't need shit. I, I do. I should have made a list. Oh, I need face moisturizer. Well, I don't need it, but I want it. Let's put some air on in this bitch. Fuck it now. Niggas pulling gimmicks because they scared of rap. So, Mace wants to go see a movie in about 40 minutes, but I don't want to go see that fucking movie. That movie is three hours long and it's a German movie, and I don't really care to see it. But, yeah, let's go to Dollar General. We went to the movie last time to go see what I wanted to see, which is why, you know, I told him he could pick this one out. But it's like, I felt like he just want to go just to, like, get me out the house because I'm bored. But, like, kind of in, like, a am being annoying kind of way, but, bitch, I'm bored. Like, I don't do nothing now. I have, like, barely any friends. Like, I'm bored. Like, I wish I could hang out with y'all. But, anywho, let's go. We're going to listen to Burner Boy new album. He got a new album. Actually, no, I like this song. It's called... In my mind by B N X N. In my mind. Oh, I'm in Dollar General and they got these big ass candles for five dollars. They got this sunwash flannel, harvest leaves, and some apple shit. But I got this one, y'all. It smells so good. It's called maple pumpkin cookie and it is only five dollars. Sorry for my autofocus. It's only five dollars, so. Yeah, and they actually have all this fall stuff in here, but that's not why we came here. All right, y'all. So, it's a girl that I follow on Instagram, and she actually posts all the deals, and I just copy her. I'm about to give y'all her Instagram right now, because, bitch, we all poor. Okay. Her Instagram name is City Coupon Moms. Let me show y'all real quick. Let me show y'all because I don't want y'all to be like, oh my god, you don't want to tell us what it is. City Coupon Moms, just type that in. Okay, so I'm trying to get the... Oh, is that tissue? I thought it was toilet paper. Tissue? It's tissue paper, whatever. Um... Do we even have this? Sparkle. Oh, shit. Y'all, so y'all know I went to Dollar General to do that sale and try to get those tissues, but my Dollar General didn't have the right tissue that I needed to do that deal, so um, I had to do another deal, so I got a few items for $10. I'm going to show you guys real quick. So I got these two Vaselines, 
and these were four dollars off yes it was four dollars off and the thing about dollar general is you need to get your cart on saturdays you need to get your cart to 25 dollars to uh 25 or over of course tax is going to make it over so once you get your cart to over 25 dollars you can add discounts so say for instance I'm explaining to you guys how she does it. Well, how it works. Because I was trying to figure out how it worked, but nobody was dumbing it down for me. So I'm going to dumb it down for y'all. So, say for instance... Okay, so you basically get... You check number one. Let me just go back. First thing you do is you check what items have coupons, right? So say for instance, you're like, damn, I need lotion. Oh my God, Vaseline has coupons. I need toilet paper. Oh my God fucking charmin has coupons i need uh clean and stuff oh my god mr clean has coupons so say for instance all the items that you want have coupons right what you need to do is you need to get of course follow the rules of the coupon so for instance the vaseline was uh four dollars off of two vaselines right and then this was two dollars off of one mr clean whatever so you need to get 25 dollars worth of items before the coupon price so i got dang where is it that's what i got no i got this i got something else i don't even know where i put it what else did i get oh my god i feel like an idiot because i have so much Ugh. okay whatever so i'm just trying to explain it so say for instance you get five items whatever right and normally these five items equal to 25 dollars right which they do hence why i got the sale so dollar general has every saturday five off 25 dollars so your car is 25 dollars without coupons you add the five off 25 so now your car is excuse me 20 dollars then you add the individual coupons the four off of two vaselines the two dollars off mr clean the three dollars off for breathe small spaces and then your cart will be low so my cart was ten dollars i'm gonna show you guys what i got from the sale my fucking memory card is running low so i got these two vaselines they had so many different kinds and i just wanted to get these two i got a mr clean clean freak it's a deep cleaning mist never used it before never seen it but it was on sale so i got it i got a small spaces for breathe small spaces this was $2.50 off, and this retails for $3.25. So you can get $2.50 off of an item that's $3.25. Then I got this candle. I showed you guys this, I think. I got this candle. And then I picked up a LA Colors mascara. Oh my God, my camera. I picked up a Maybelline Fit Me. And then I picked up a moisturizer. Bam. So I don't think I've ever told you guys about my dream mom car. The car that I have been looking at is the Kia Sportage SX, SX Prestige, right? It is a gray car. Well, they have different kinds, but the one I want is the gray one with the red interior, panoramic roof with the big ass digital dash, right? My car is nice. I'm almost done paying off my car which is the only reason why I want to keep it. But my car does not have the high-end technology that I want, and it for sure does not have the space that I want. So once I, you know, found out I was pregnant, and Mace was like, you should get a mom car. I'm just like, uh. I started looking at them, and I fell in love with the Kia Sportage. Y'all, why the fuck we went to the Kia dealership today, right? Tonight, like we just came back. And... First of all, why left my f the only car that was unlocked in the whole lot, mind you, it's 926. The only car that was unlocked mm -hmm. on the whole lot was the car that I wanted. They had the Kia Sportage in different colors, better trims, but they were all locked. Only the one that I wanted was unlocked. I go in the car, I sit in it, I'm looking at all the features, and I'm like, wow, like I really want this car. Like it is a it's not a luxury mom car, but it's really nice. And the retail price is $35,000. And I'm just like, damn, I really want this car. I owe a couple thousand left on my car. Of course, I want to keep my car. I don't need I don't need that car right now. But sitting in that car, why the fuck I start crying? I'm like, why can't I control my emotions? I want that car so bad. So I took pictures and videos in the car. Y'all, look at the inside of the car. It's so nice. 
Oh my God, they got the panoramic roof. Let me see if y'all can see. Let me see if y'all can see. I took a little video. You don't see? See, I took a video on it. Oh, it's so nice. It's so nice, y'all. Oh, that's the price. That's the little thing, the sticker that was on it. I put my hand on it because <laughs> that's the color of the outside I want. That's how it looks. Like, I just want that fucking car. But I don't know. I'm kind of just trying to wait until, like, Kyrie is, like, eight months. Before I PCS, I know I want that fucking car. But it was just so ironic that I got there and that was the only thing that was um, um unlocked. It's just my dream car. And sitting in it is brand new. It had the plastic. I'm just like... <gasps> Uh, so that really just made my night. We were supposed to go to the movies, but I'm a one event kind of chick. I told y'all that. I go out. Bitch, if it's dinner or movies, it's one of them. Because after one event, I want to go home and sleep. So I just want to tell y'all, I just got so sad looking at that car. I'm just like, why the fuck do I want this car so bad? Like, i never been one to lust after cars. Like, a car is a car to me, you know? But I just didn't realize how low tech my car is. Until I see the other people's car, and I'm like, oh, you got this big ass dash. I got like a two inch dash. And y'all cars tell y'all if somebody's in, in next to you and you're blind spot. My car don't tell me shit. My backup camera is like an Android camera. Like, it's, I'm not even trying to complain though, because I do have a nice car. And a car is not a, that car is not a necessity. It's just a one. It's not a necessity. I was watching Missy Lynn vlog. If you don't know who Missy Lynn is, girl, I'm about to tell you, I love Missy Lynn. I was watching her vlogs. And she had her, the same car till uh, since, I can't talk, you see? She had the same car since 2012. And she just upgraded her car, to, and it's paid off. Um, just upgraded her car to a nice-ass uh, Genesis GV70 or some shit like that. But it's real, real nice. Like, real, real nice. So I'm just like, you know what? You don't need that car. But it's like, my car really, when I tell you, you put four bags in my car and it's full, I don't know how I'm going to do it with a baby. But... I mean, I mean, I know how I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. But it's just, I'm just trying to get myself excuses to get the car. But I don't need the fucking car. I don't need the car. I do plan on selling my house when I PCS. I'm not doing these property taxes. Texas, I'm not doing it. So, I'm going to see how much my property taxes is this year. And if it's a lot, like last year, I'm definitely selling my house. And I'm getting the fuck out of here. And I want my, you know what I'm saying? I want my equity because I bought my house for a good price. A very good price. And I think right now it's probably worth like, Two two seventy, and they didn't even get it for two hundred. So, yeah, I want my coins and my coins. But yeah, so that's it for tonight. I kind of want to take this wig off, even though I bought I bodied this wig. Like I kind of want to take it off because I have a new wig coming that I gotta install. But bitch, I don't know. I might I might just go to sleep. I don't know. But yeah, y'all, it's late. I'm probably gonna watch this new show. I've been watching on Hulu. It's called Night Night Watch Night Watch. I don't know if it's new, but I just started watching it and I really like it. It's called Night Watch. It's a, uh, like a reality series about the uh, EMT police officers and firefighters. And it follows them around New Orleans. And I didn't even know New Orleans had that much crime. But I'm going to wash my ass and put on my belly cream and take my ass to sleep. Okay, so I'll see y'all tomorrow. Yeah, I got to start selling some wigs. I got wigs everywhere. If y'all are interested in a wig... And purchasing a wig, just let me know. I'm not gonna sell them for much, duh. I mean, I wear them for like four hours. Sometimes I just wear them and pull them off. Like this wig, I need to take, I wanna take off right now. But yeah, I'm not gonna sell them for more than like 130 because they're long and they have a lot of density. So, <sighs> yeah, good night, guys. I'm, can I started crying. Then I left my purse in the fucking car at the car dealership. That's where Mace, Mace went back to go get it. I'm such an idiot, but I put it as my uh, uh, screen saver, just, you know, to manifest. Y'all know me. I'm big on, I can manifest anything. So yeah, I'm going to take my makeup off. I beat my face today for literally nothing. I'm going to take my makeup off, do my skincare routine and have me a good night. So good night guys. I love y'all. Good morning, y'all. Next day, same clothes on. Y'all, I done broke my tripod. Not a camera leaning. I...
Now Mace is home. Like, I just got so much going on. So, y'all, starting off, um, I'm sick as a dog. Mace got me some Ricola and the throat spray. It just uh, is nothing is working. So, I might have to go to the hospital tomorrow, depending on how today feels. I'm, I'm definitely going to have to go tomorrow. I'm so tired and so fucked up. What's up, you vlogging? Yeah. Sick. You want to say hi? Yeah, so he just brought me Tylenol. No, nah, what's good, y'all? Cold and flu. I told her to take her ass to the goddamn sick hall. She I know. Take her ass to the sick hall. She want to make every, every, she wanna make every reason why not, but want to get over-the-counter medication. If y'all don't tell her to take her ass to sick hall, but time y'all see this, Tylenol, she should be better. Cold and flu severe. Got me getting her all this bull crap. Guess what? You could have had medication by now and actually really feeling better. And you got my It's face. been a day. Head and body aches, good, because I feel like shit. Fever and sore throat, cough, nasal congestion, mucus plus chest congestion. Y'all know they say Tylenol is the only thing you could take while pregnant, so. Yeah. I'm going to make some pizza. That's why I didn't buy food. That's, you that's, that's fine. Like, got mad food, it's okay. Mad, mad food. Damn, I could have brought me a little milkshake, though. A little milkshake, little <laughs> That strawberry milkshake from Chick Fil A is crazy. With the cookie crumble. With the cookie crumble. You see that car? Yeah, that's bad. Yeah. That's cheap. Yo, we were. Just, wasn't I just telling y'all about Kia's in the last clip? I want that Kia. But I'ma wait. But I'ma wait though. No, it, 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 it's when it, when, when it, when it shows. When it, when it. It's gonna show. When it's, you know, when you got it still. You just gotta, you just gotta watch. I'm it. not pressed about no new car with a whole baby on the way. That's a fucking lie, y'all. Unlike some other people. I'm not pressed about the car either. Y'all, la all last night he talking about Audi. You hot right now. He <laughs> so take these two. Y'all these fat ass pills. Hey, can you get me some water, please? Ooh. I need water for the pill. Drink it when my spit is mad crazy. But now, nah, y'all, like I was gonna film today. Like this is why I took leave to relax, to also film, like knock shit out that I need to knock out, clean up the house like I need to clean because I probably won't take leave again. He's screaming. I probably won't take leave again, so I just wanted to do like a good clean because my mom said she might be coming in December. Like I got people coming, so it's just like I need. To do like a deep, you know, like it's not, don't get me wrong, it's not dirty, it's just clothes that need to be folded, don't, I don't live like a pig now. Um, yeah, so, I got two weeks though, so we're only on the second day, I went on leave, I started leave yesterday, and the amount of people that have called my fucking phone, asking me when I get off of leave is crazy. You seen that text from that guy? Like yeah. the fuck wrong with these niggas? Yeah. Don't ask me when the fuck I come off leave. Shit, you gotta take a shit. Go take a shit. I got y'all. Yo, you don't. I got the bubbles, y'all. Go poo. They don't care. They don't mind. They they, they some real ones. I cannot believe. I I be forgetting that you don't live over there no more. Cause this morning I was like, who the fuck is coming in the house at seven something? And I realized that you know I said, oh my god, niggas gotta drive back and forth after PT. Nigga, this is far. Huh? I don't even want to do car no more, nigga. The mileage? Yeah. Might be insane. Then you came for lunch, I said, yeah, he's tripping. You're tripping, Biz. But I'm the highway. I have to pack it, my uniform. And pack it, yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, y'all, so it's looking like. Yeah, anyways, like I was saying, why the fuck is everybody keep calling me? I'm on leave. When you email me, it's an automatic reply that says, hey, I'm on leave from so-and-so to so-and-so. Please contact so-and-so because they will be covering down for me. Why do you Why do you have to, why do you feel like you need to call my phone? Why do people feel like they need to call me? If I show y'all my call log, I got a call. I got like 50 calls, 50 missed calls. And I don't understand why the fuck y'all keep calling me when y'all know there's someone else that can help you with what you need. If that person cannot help you, they can text me and ask me what needs to be done. And what, how to do this? And I will tell them. If they that slow and they really don't know what the fuck to do, then I can come in a little later when y'all off work. 
And I'm not coming in right now. I'm a little crazy. I'm sick. My hair not done. I'm not coming in. I'm not obligated to come in, so I ain't coming in. But if I fuck with you and you really need something done, like I fuck with my first time, then I got you. I'm going to come in. I'm going to come in at night, though, because I got to keep it off. So I'm going to come in at night. And do I need to handle it? I'm going to dip. But y'all not going to call me down. No, because that, what's the point of me taking leave? Like, I'm taking leave for my mental health. I took leave for my mental health, and now I'm sick, and I'm just all fucked up right now. Like, I'm all fucked up, but that's neither here or there. <clears throat> you about to see me choke on this pill real quick. Um, yeah, I got this wig from this company yesterday, and the lace is so dark that I just want to fight. But you know what? It's okay. Because I'm going to see if I can make it do what it do. I'm going to do something. I'm going to see if I can finesse. Do a little bullshit, little hairstyle. Um, and be done with that. And I got mad packages coming in this week. Get my body itching. Fuck with it. A little bit of that. I bring no tits in here. How you do this? <clears throat> Y'all, at the pregnancy class, they told us we could take up to 3,000 milligrams of Tylenol, which I would never do, but like, still. Oh my god, I can't even open this shit. Fold. Oh, fold and pull. I fold and broke the shit off. <laughs> oh my god, I cannot. Y'all, do I sound sick? Or am I tripping? Because I'm all fucked up. I call my mom because, you know, Haitians have that remedy. I call my mom and she's... So I'm at the water park. What's your... You're old. What are you doing at the water park? Don't fall. She with, she with family, though. She with the rest of the kids, and she in Philadelphia. I said, oh, my God. I called her yesterday. She had a water park. I called her today. She had a water park. What, y'all slept there? But I'm happy for her. She's outside and enjoying life, and I really wish I was there, but it is what it is, cuz. Listen, do not break my teeth, okay? These, these top six, ain't they ain't real. They even is. Don't break my little teeth, okay? Because I really gonna have to go to the doctor then. I will... Bro, one of my teeth would ever break, I would go to the ER. <laughs> like, y'all not about to see me with no shaved down ass teeth, bro. All right, here we go. Damn, me some fat ass pills. Pills looking like my damn prenatals <clears throat> that I stopped taking and started taking the gummies. Y'all think I could do this? Have faith in me. Oh, it actually tastes good. What is this lemon lime flavor? Why oh, it tastes like candy? Cold and flu severe. All right, I ain't severe now. I'm probably like five to ten on the scale. Okay, but. I am going to finish taking my medication, take me some Ricolas, um, brush my teeth, because I'm still in the bed, bitch. It's noon. And that's why I took leave, so I could breathe, bitch. And, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to start another vlog. So I just wanted to end today's vlog. Hopefully y'all enjoyed it. Tell y'all that I love y'all. And um, I'll see y'all in the next vlog. Which is probably going to start right after this. So, yeah. Who made pills, bro? I hate this shit. <clears throat> Why he ain't give me more water than this? What the hell? <clears throat> you can do it. Because if you had to do it for Kyrie, you would do it. Just do it. You didn't even gag on that one. You're going to be fine. You're not going to gag on this one. And it tastes like lemon lime. So it's gonna slide down your throat like a skittle. Okay, <clears throat> we can do it. We can do it, you can do it, it's a pill. You've done way more things in your life. You got this. I'm definitely gonna gag on this one. 